A record number of women are running for election to the U.S. Congress this year in what is seen as a backlash against the presidency of Donald Trump. Voters in California will go to the polls in the state's primary election on Tuesday with a large number of first-time women candidates on the ballot. It will set the scene for November's midterm elections, in which Democrats hope to wrestle control of Congress from Trump's Republican Party. Across the country, more than double the number of women who ran for Congress in 2016 have joined the race this year. Katie Hill, who is running as a Democrat in a seat held by a Republican for the last 25 years, said, I definitely think Donald Trump in that election was an awakening for us. I think it made us realize our status in society is more delicate than a lot of us realized. Now we've got this trigger of we can do this is, and we have an obligation to do this is there's more of an unwillingness to sit by when we're represented by less than 20% of the people in Congress being women. We are 51% of the population, and there is something fundamentally wrong with that, and we are never going to get to true equality unless we have equal representation. The movement to encourage more women to run for office was evident on the day after Mr. Trump's inauguration, when the Women's March on Washington drew the largest single-day protest crowd in U.S. history. The new president's past comments and actions towards women mobilized a campaign which has since received renewed impetus from the Number Metu movement. Dr. Ainge Marie Hancock Alfro, a professor in gender studies at the University of Southern California, said, We are two years away from the 100-year anniversary of women getting the right to vote in this country. I think if you talked to any of the suffragettes back then in 1920 they would never have anticipated if we would still be talking 98 years later about how interesting and extraordinary it is that women are running for office in such numbers. I think they would have hoped for bigger change on a quicker time frame. That frustration the last such surge in women candidates was in 1992 is shared by many of those running. I think it's sad, frankly, that we apparently get one year of the woman every 30 years, said Democrat Katie Porter. She is contesting a seat in Orange County, California, that will be critical if Democrats are to take back the House of Representatives. I think we need to elect more women and keep electing more women, not just in 2018, but going forward year after year.